Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good uh, good start of the weekend. And welcome to this new video on the, on Gito, your daily update. Um, we have some things to talk about. I mean, uh, overall, yesterday was a was a pretty bearish day for Gito. I mean, the, the, the to be to be fair, at the start of this video, um, Gito right now for me. It's pretty hard to analyze, <laughs> all right. It's, uh, I mean, it, it, what it's doing is it, it's, it's, it's kind of reacting to Bitcoin and to Solana. Uh, I think it's obvious why it's reacting to Solana. It's a Solana ecosystem coin, of course. And then, I mean, Bitcoin right now, the dominance is still very high. So if Bitcoin makes a move, Gito will follow that as well. So what we've seen is that it, it does react to both moves. Yesterday after the video, I, I already said in the video that I would wait for, for, for buying until it broke above 3.65. Uh, because to me, I mean, Cheeto yesterday morning, I, I actually thought it was, was quite bullish, right? And I, I still think it can be bullish, but purely technically, uh, purely technically, it certainly is not bullish. All right. If you look at this, what you'll see is that, uh, you know, the open interest is still relatively high, uh, but we had, did have a bit of a drop yesterday evening right so it's uh, it's slowly going up again but uh, the volume is dropping down so in, in general the momentum is is not that not not there i think and then if you look at the technicals i mean like i said we got some strong bearish breakouts the emas are on top of the price i'm not sure if those will be respected um but no it's it, it, to me i mean it's yeah it's it's difficult because yesterday yesterday the the market structure was quite bullish and right now i would say like on the short term it's bearish but overall i think it's neutral so what I'm waiting for is, is just a major a major breakout, right? A major breakout uh, above the market structure. Yesterday I said 3.65, like a breakout above 3.65 would be would be ideal because then you know for sure, or, or at least uh, the, the chances are very high that then GTO will rally. Because, but right now, I mean, the, the, the closest resistance level is, is 3.25, and if that breaks, I don't know nothing, all right? We've broken above that a number of times. And it, it well, the last time, yesterday, it didn't mean anything. Uh, so at this moment, I actually have to say, also given the fact that Bitcoin got a bit of a bearish breakout uh, uh, yesterday, and the fact that there's not really any momentum for Gito, I mean, when if, if this momentum goes up again, if the open interest and the volume starts going up for Gito, then there are some great possibilities, right? But at this moment, th that's not the case. So I have to say uh, that it's most likely, I, for, for, for now, I'll assume that we're in some sort of a consolidation here and that yesterday was a fake out uh, because of the strong bullish momentum for Solana. Uh, so, but, but, but given, given this, I would say that we're going to drop down towards, uh, towards, uh, towards 2.7 and 2.6 again. And then from there, I would actually say, but that depends on, on Bitcoin, all right, I think, because of Bitcoin, uh, well, there's a chance that GTO also drops down towards 2.25 here, right? But for that to happen, I think GTO, like I said, I mean, the momentum is not here, uh, but it's also not that there's a ton of bearish momentum. That's also not the case. So the only way I, I, I could see GTO failing to hold 2.6 and 2.7, maybe with a spike down to 2.5, is if Bitcoin drops back down towards uh, 41,000. If that happens, I think GTO will fall down towards 2.25, uh, but I don't think that's most likely right now. I think it's more likely that it will hold the support and then just hold this consolidation. And then at some point of time, <laughs> I'm not sure when, but at some point of time, I do still expect a major breakout and a rally up to five dollars let's keep let's keep that in mind right that's easy to say so yeah those uh yeah those are all my all my thoughts on gito for now so if you do have any questions anything let me know down in the comments uh, but for now thank you for watching uh don't forget to check out my premium group and signal group if you if you want to become a better trader uh, and make some money but that's up to you for now thank you for watching have a great weekend and, and bye